So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to guide you through Renna's side quest which is pretty big but it rewards you an amazing dark moon great sword but it also opens up the opportunity for you to earn more rewards too and that's why I want to make the guide so I can send people back to it in reference to other videos when I do cover other things which need this side quest completed. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Rani's quest line isn't that lengthy to be honest, you should get it done in under an hour, especially with this guy's help. What I will say is, a lot of people may be confused by a few steps they've already seen online via other guys, because if you've already killed Radan, a lot of the steps early on in this quest, where you have to talk to certain NPCs, won't be there for you so it can confuse you. So if you've already defeated Radan, check out the timestamps linked within the uh, comment section and video description and look for where it says start from here if you've already killed Radan. There are a couple of other bosses you will have to take out to progress and complete this quest line. They are unavoidable and they are on the way. If you've already taken out Renella Queen of the Full Moon who is located in the academy and also the Royal Knight Loretta within Carrier Manor there's two bosses out of the way for you already if not it doesn't really matter because they are along the way in getting this quest line completed okay so first up guys you need to obviously have talked to Renna at the church of Ella you would have done this real early on she's there normally the night after you get your mount now you may have to activate a few graces and come back here to the church of Ella at night and you'll see Renna sitting on a wall. Okay, so to start Renna's questline from here, you need to go to Renna's Rise, as you can see on the map right here. This does mean though, guys, you will have to progress through Carrier Manor, and you will have to progress and defeat the Royal Knight Loretta boss, who's located in the main room here. So yeah, once you've taken him out, you can then progress and start Renna's questline. If you've already taken him out, then you are good people. Don't worry about this. So yeah, once you've taken him out, or if you've already done this, make your way to Renny's Rise and climb to the top of this tower. So once at the top guys, talk to Rani and clear out all dialogue. When you get the dialogue option of serving Rani the Witch, make sure you do that. Once you've done this guys, you then need to go downstairs within the tower because you won't actually be able to leave the area and talk to the three phantoms. They are located within the tower, they're harder to miss than they are to spot, so yeah, get that done. Then once you've done that, go back and talk to Rani. From here guys, you need to go to Seal for River Well and talk to Blade. And from here guys, you need to go to Silavis's Rise and speak to Silavis. Uh, when you clear out his dialogue, select accept the task and ask about Nakron, a place we're going to be going to. Then guys, you need to go to Waypoint Ruins and give the Silavis introduction to Sorceress Selen. Now for me, I'd already done the Selen quest line, so Selen wasn't within Waypoint Ruins for me anymore. If this is the case for you guys, you would have no doubt already taken out Renella Queen of the Full Moon at the Academy and Sorcerer Selen should be located there as you go into the main library to your left hand side like a big ball of heads. It's, it's wild people, it's wild. Speak to her there. But like me, there may be a chance that there's no actual extra dialogue here or no progression here which is completely fine that's what happened to me so let's carry on to the next step 
Now this is the step where you need to go to the impassable great bridge, bottom right of the map, and talk to the guys to start the Radan festival. This is where you have to, where you first get the Radan cutscene, then you have to fight Radan and take him out. Once we've taken him out guys, we then have to progress. Now like I said, if you've already taken out Radan, this is probably where you need to start this quest from. Like I said, at the start of the video, which is completely fine. So from here guys, we now need to go to Nakron, where if you go to Fort Height West, you can simply make your way down. We a giant hole in the floor. Now from here you will have to progress through and past the Mimic Tier boss fight like I said, a walk in the park. A little bit of advice, take off all your armour and just slaying people because he mimics what you do. And from here guys, follow the path I take on screen now to grab the Finger Slayer Blade. This is something we have to return to Rani and give her. And this will complete part one of Rani's quest line. So once you've returned to Rani within Rani's Rise guys, and you've given her the blade, you now want to reset at this site of grace. So fast travel to a site of grace and come back to this one, that's probably your best bet. Now normally, and this confused the heck out of me guys, there should be a teleporter or a portal at the top of this tower which takes you to where you need to go, which is to the Ansel River main. For me though, that teleport was not there. If this is the case for you guys, you're going to have to do what I had to do. Now pinpointed on the map right here, we can see Ansel River well. Well going down here guys actually doesn't give you access to where we need to go. It doesn't give you access where we need to actually get within this area. Because we need to get up here, Ansel River Main. Where you actually come down into here and you can't actually progress up here. So the only other way I know of to get up here guys, which I'm seeing a lot of people missing their guides, is to take out another boss in the twin gargoyles and they ain't too easy if i'm honest with you and these are located back within nacron so from the mimic tier grace point spot this is where you need to come to you need to come and follow the direction that i take on screen now and come all the way up to the great waterfall basin which is the closest grace point from here guys you will have to progress through and defeat the twin gargoyles which like i said ain't the easiest of bosses within this game Okay, so once you've taken out the Twin Gargoyles, if you go to the back of the room, there will be a grace. Just to the right of this grace, guys, there will be a coffin, 
which you can actually get into and travel where we need to actually go to next which is the deep root depths now from the deep root depths guys you will start here at the great waterfall crest this is where you will spawn in when you use that coffin now if you've already got any of these grace points you can see on the screen now that's even better for you if you haven't you will have to follow the path i go or take on the screen now to another coffin So once you get to this coffin guys, this will then teleport you to Ansel River Main. Okay, so once you are here guys, you need to pick up the items on the floor. And you will see that there is a miniature Lanny doll. Once you pick this up guys, you then sit next to this Grace, this slight of Grace. And you can see the dialogue option at the bottom where you can talk to her. Keep selecting this until dialogue, more dialogue pops up. From here guys, you then need to progress forward and take out Baleful Shadow. He will drop the discarded palace key. From this point, progress forward guys and go down in this lift to this area of rot and activate that grace. From here guys, we need to go to the Rea Lucaria Grand Library. This is actually the area we will have to fight if you haven't already defeated Renella Queen of the Full Moon. But if you've already taken her out, you are good. If you haven't, she will await you. Take her down, people. Now, if you had already taken her down, or once you do take her down, you will notice a chest to her right, I believe it is. This is where you use that discarded palace key. And within this chest, guys, you will get the dark moon ring. From here, guys, you need to go back to that lake of rot. Once you are here, you need to run through this rut and navigate all the way past it to rest in this coffin or this tomb. So do as I do on screen now, guys, making sure you got plenty of those healing flasks because you're probably going to need them. Now once you get in this coffin, you'll then come to another boss called the Astral Natural Born of the Void. Here you will also have to take out this boss. Once you've done this guys, progress forward to this elevator, to the Moonlight Altar. Once you are here guys, navigate to this cathedral and also activate this grace.
from here guys, drop down his hole and follow the path I take and you'll find Rani. Here yeah, just give her the dark moon ring. For this guys once you've cleared out the dialogue you will be rewarded the dark moon great sword. And there we have it people. The Rani quest line and its reward. So yeah guys the end of the video has now arrived. If you enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more out of the ring be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people I will see you on that next one.